Good morning and welcome back to Old World Home. We are officially on summer break and to be honest, it has taken me a couple weeks to adjust to our new schedule. The end of the school year is always so jam-packed with all sorts of fun events and my days have just been very full. So today I wanted to take you with me on a day of homemaking. I've been trying to be diligent about watering my new plants on a daily basis, either in the morning or in the evening, and it's so satisfying to see the new growth starting to arrive. We've been experiencing a lot of smoke and haze from the Canadian wildfires the past couple days, but today things seem to be clearing up. If you're in Canada, my heart goes out to you and I pray you are all safe and well. My rose bushes are another area I'm trying to improve in, being consistent with trimming and deadheading them to encourage new growth. These pink ones smell amazing, but I only get five or so at a time and I wish they were just completely covered in roses but I'll take what I can get. These smaller white bushes are knockout roses and I'm doing the same, trying to keep them trimmed to encourage growth. And it's funny, I've seen these bushes grow huge and that's what I was hoping that these would do. So hopefully over the next couple years, they'll grow and thrive. Peony season is sadly over and done. It's far too fast and I had to trim off all the last remaining blooms. You can see they were definitely past their prime, and yet there was one remaining bloom that I could take inside to enjoy. And now that they're done, I have hydrangeas to look forward to. I'm a complete amateur gardener, but it brings me a lot of joy to see the things that we've planted actually take off and give us such lovely things to cut and enjoy. My girls and I had a fun girls night in my room last night, so I'm just cleaning up their things this morning, and then I need to strip the bed and put on some fresh sheets. This is one of those homemaking tasks that's really so simple, but it makes crawling into bed in the evening so relaxing. It's like you're staying in a hotel in your own home. For years, I only had one set of sheets, and it was fine for the most part. I just wash them and remake the bed in the same day. But then I realized it would be that much easier to have two sets to be able to make the bed right away. And then whenever the laundry was finished, I could just fold and put those sheets away and not depend on them in order to go to sleep that night. I shared a few videos ago how I gave our room a little makeover with fabric wallpaper and a few new things, so I can link to that video if you missed it. While my kids were still in bed for a little bit longer, I headed into the kitchen to prep some bread for dinner. I'm trying a new recipe that calls for warmed milk. It also uses yeast and sourdough starter and a few other simple ingredients. My starter has not been super active lately, so I'm trying to kind of use it up before I refeed it and hopefully get it to reactivate. This bread actually turned out really well, so I can link to the recipe in the description box. She called this her lazy sourdough bread. The only thing I did different was I swapped coconut oil instead of canola. So while I had all these same ingredients out, I went ahead and made up some pancakes for us to enjoy for breakfast. Like I mentioned, my kids are now out of school, and personally, I find I do really well in a more structured environment. Now don't get me wrong, I have been enjoying these more relaxed mornings and kids sleeping in, but I'm trying to get better about still doing my own morning routine and having some loose structure to our days. In this video, we're home for the day, so I'm able to get a lot more things done around the home and do a lot of scratch cooking, but we've had quite a few days already this summer break where we're up and out of the house all morning, so every day is just a little different. On these slower days, we typically eat a bigger meal later all together, and my daughter just loves to make a pretty presentation. 
Another part of our loose summer structure is to continue to do a family devotion right after breakfast when their bellies are full and their attention spans are high. It's a practice that always sets the tone for our days and I can definitely tell a difference when we don't fit it in. Additionally, I bought a couple summer bridge workbooks for my girls just to practice some key concepts over the next few months. Honestly, my kids love to play school all the time, so they were kind of excited to do these. They're very short, but they're definitely helpful. Then after all that's out of the way, they all pitch in to do something helpful around the house, whether it's sweeping or bringing dishes to the kitchen, wiping down the table, folding laundry, whatever is needed to keep the home humming. I added a few fresh kitchen towels recently, so it was a good time to reevaluate the ones that I had and which ones could be repurposed into cleaning rags. This is very often my approach to home maintenance and getting tasks done just when they come to my attention and I have some time to get them done. Sometimes I need to schedule certain tasks into my month or my week, and sometimes those little things can just be finished in five to 10 minutes right in the moment and honestly, both feel just as good when they're completed. At this point, my bread was done rising for the second time. It actually took quite a bit longer than the recipes suggested 20 minutes, but eventually they did rise and I was able to pop them in the oven to bake. While they did, we all tidied up and got ready to enjoy some much needed time outside after the past few days of smoky air forced us to stay inside. It's amazing how something as simple as being outside can feel like such a blessing. While my kids splashed in their pool, I took some time to plant a set of azaleas near our deck. You can see behind me that I actually cut down an old overgrown bush that was basically dead at the bottom. So I have some power washing to do in my future and we also need to cut down and remove the old stump but I'm happy to be replacing it with these new flowering plants. I wanted to share a little bit of some summer reading that I have been up to already within the past month or so. I was on a major Sherry La Pena kick. If you've ever read any of her books, they're very, like, they're quick, they're a quick read, they're a good mystery, and you kind of want to figure out what happens kind of story. So. The first one I ever read of hers was The Couple Next Door, and then I think at this point I've pretty much read all of the mysteries that she's written. I think she has a couple others, but definitely would recommend, you know, for a good light summer reading mystery. And then right now I am reading The Last to Vanish by Megan Miranda. I'm actually like listening to it slash reading it, so I'll listen during the day and then I'll read at night. More of a recent book. Yeah, 22. And then one of you suggested that I read The Plot, and I was so excited. I The day that you emailed me, I was just happened to be going to the library anyways, so I picked that one up, and it sounds so good. Like, someone's writing a book, and they mysteriously die, and then I guess what they're writing about is kind of like coming to life something along those lines. I might be butchering that, but I'm excited to read that one. And then I have another just thriller suggestion that came up um, in something I googled, The Dead Girl in 2A. So can you tell what I like? I like a murder mystery, but I also did just finish Fast Like a Girl. A friend of mine lent that to me, and I did finish that. I read I read that, I wasn't able to listen. So I'm just a big fan of Mindy's and I was really happy to read that one also. As quiet time started to wind down in the afternoon and I was finishing up the rest of my second coffee, I started to put together some simple baked meatballs to have with the bread for dinner. I figured baking these would be easier than frying one at a time, so I just used a cookie scoop to lay them out on a sheet pan. I had to rearrange them a few times to get them all to fit, but it worked out in the end and I baked them at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes.
Cleaning as I go while cooking and after each meal is really the key for me to keeping our space tidy and also just washing and reusing a lot of the same things for different meals. That way I can keep and store as few items as needed. I truly enjoy staying productive when I'm at home. I have a hard time just sitting down and doing nothing since there's always something that needs my attention and it brings me a lot of satisfaction to see those tasks being completed. But I also know that rest is important and doing things I enjoy just for enjoyment's sake. As a homemaker though, there are simply a lot of tasks I have to get to throughout the day, so why not make them enjoyable? Why not have a beautiful room and bed that I enjoy making? Why not source delicious ingredients I'm excited to prepare and enjoy with my family? Why not repaint or rearrange your living room if it brings you joy to hone your style and make it a room you enjoy cleaning? Homemaking can be repetitive, certainly, overwhelming at times for sure, but I find the more care I show my home, the more I appreciate all it does for us. For dinner, I used the square loaf of bread that I had baked to make delicious meatball sandwiches. After adding the cheese, I popped them open-faced under the broiler to get nice and melty, and then I added marinara sauce. They were so good. After dinner, we had a bit of a family planning session. Even though summer hasn't even officially begun, it's like it's already over with how much we have on our schedules already. It couldn't be more true, the old saying, the days are long, but the years are short. After the dinner dishes were all cleaned up, I took a little time to save whatever flowers I could from this little bouquet left over from our recent wedding anniversary, whittling it down to just a few blooms we could continue to enjoy just a little bit longer. Thank you so much for joining me today on this day of homemaking. God bless.